Hello, my name is Bonolo and welcome to Inside the Baobab Tree. Hello, I'm Baby Bab. <coughs> How are you doing today, Baby Bab? Oh, I'm fine, Nolo. Let's say hello to our friends at home. <coughs> hello, friends. How are you doing today? Super. <coughs> Oh, let's not forget to say hello to our very good friend, Old Baobab. Ready? Hello, Old Baobab. Hello. <coughs> <clears throat> One more time together, friends. Ready? Hello, Old Baobab. Hello. We love Old Baobab, don't we? <coughs> So much. I'm not feeling well today. What? Why? I'm just coughing. My throat is a bit sore. <coughs> ah, I don't like it when you're not well. Don't worry. I'll think of something that will make me feel better. Um, <coughs> like going to the doctor. Hmm. I'll tell you after we sing our song for the day. <laughs> Do you want to know what we're singing today, friends? Super, let's sing. Yahoo! Song time! <coughs> hello, Dinella, let's shout hello. Molo, Tobella, Abushi. Hello, Dinella, let's shout hello. That was an amazing song. I had so much fun. Thank oh. you so much for singing with us, friends. Oh, Nolo, you sang so well with your sore throat. <laughs> Thank you, Baby Bab. <laughs> <Wow. Wow. coughs> <coughs> we need to try a home remedy for my sore throat, Baby Bab. Oh, what is a home remedy, Nolo? Um, you guess. Okay. Mm. Ah, something made from home. Clever, Baby Bab. <laughs> home remedies are basically something that you put up at home using certain foodstuffs to help you before you visit the doctor. <laughs> Twist my tail. Have you ever had a headache, Baby Bab? Mm -hmm. Yes, then I went to the doctor. Well... Did you know that you can cure a headache just by drinking lots of water? Ooh, really? Yes, and you can go further by mixing herbs, honey and water, then drink it. 
Well, you can have dried rosemary or dried peppermint. Oh, really? Oh, but what if I don't have any dried peppermint or rosemary? Hmm, that's a good question. You can use fresh herbs. The fresher the herbs, the better. All those oils will infuse in the honey and water and it will leave a nice remedy for colds, flu and <coughs> Coughing. <coughs> so basically, herbs help strengthen your immune system. Oh, Nolo, what will you get for your coughing? Well, I think that I'll drink this home remedy that I made at home. <coughs> Friends, do you think I should take this home remedy? You do? Great! Oh, yay! Take it! Huh. Mm. Ah. This is my home remedy for my coughing. <coughs> wow! <coughs> ah. That was so nice and sweet. Mm. Oh, Nolo! What's in it? Well, um, quite a few things, actually. I want to know, Nolo. Tell me. Okay, this is a mixture of cinnamon, honey, and water with a hint of ginger. Oh, ginger! Mmm. Yes, it's a root of a plant that can be consumed as a delicacy, spice, or medicine. Oh, wow! I see. See, it has a lot of functions. So, besides healing my coughing, it's actually good for other things in my body. Oh, wow! Food and medicine, two in one! Oh, <laughs> clever you are, baby bat! <laughs> I'm happy that you're learning so much, baby bat. Let's ask our friends at home their favorite home remedies. <coughs> mm. One more. My mom gives me tea with lemon when I have a cold. My mom puts herbs on her dishes. It makes me strong. See, baby pap? Even our friends at home are aware of home remedies and the use of herbs in food to make us strong. Oh, awesome! So, what else do you think acts as a food and is a medicine at the same time. Ooh, um, tea! Yes, well done, Baby Bab. Wow! Just my tail! Rooibos, chai and green tea are some of the teas that act as food and as medicine in our bodies. Oh, wow, Nolo! You know a lot! <laughs> Knowledge is power, Baby Bab, and it's good to share it. <laughs> Friends, we are going to take a quick break. So, see you now now. See you soon. Hello, and welcome back to Inside the Baobab Tree. My name is Bunolo, and this is my very best friend, Baby Bab. Oh, hello, friends. Are you enjoying our company, friends? You are? That's excellent. Oh, Nolo, you're sounding much better. Today we're talking about food and cracking the code of how to use food elements as home remedies to seasonal sicknesses. <coughs> <laughs> like Nolo's honey and cinnamon mixture. Yes, oh. baby bat, <laughs> with a hint of ginger. Oh, yo, yo. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Baby Pep. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> awesome, Nolo. You're very funny, Baby Pep. <laughs> oh, I love it when you laugh. So, I guess my cough is gone. We can laugh all we like. <laughs> <laughs> Twist my tail. Do you love honey, Baby Pep? Mm, yeah, yes. 
But what else can you do with it besides your cough mixture? Lots of things. Remember, honey is also a sweetener. Oh, wow, I see. You can use it as a substitute for sugar in your tea or as a complement to your waffles for breakfast. Oh, yummy! You can also use honey as part of your steak sauce ingredient. Mmm. Like honey mustard. Wow. Yes, baby bab, that's a perfect example. Oh, that reminds me. Today's story is about a little girl's birthday. She has to crack the code and find out what her birthday present is. Oh, yay! Story time! It's now time for us to read our very interesting story. Yippee! I love stories! Okay, this one is called... Hmm. Ah, crack the code. Let's read. <clears throat> Lebo woke up. It was her birthday. Oh, look, she said. There's a blue box next to my bed. Let me open it and see what's inside. Oh, yes! I love to open presents. Maybe it's a new microphone or a silver necklace, she thought. Wow! Then she saw some pink paper with letters and numbers on it. This must be a code, she said. Let me work out what it says. Yippee! Lebo looked at the code, and then she read the clue. Is that where my birthday present is? She thought. Oh, exciting! <sighs> Lebo ran to the kitchen. No present there. She looked on the fridge door. She could see a shopping list, a frog, and a teapot. There was a clue. Yeah! What will the clue say? She thought. Lebu sat down on the kitchen table. Let me work this clue out. She worked it out. Ah, I know what it is, she said as she ran out of the kitchen. What is it? What is it? Well, Lebu went to the post box. Look at the letters. There was a blue one, a yellow one, a white one, and another clue. I hope this is the last clue, she thought. I want to find my present. Yes, yes! Lebu sat down to work out the clue. She looked at the numbers and the letters on the pink paper. She worked out the clue. I think this must be the last clue, she said. Lebu ran to the garage. Where could my birthday present be? Oh, oh wow! Is it in the boot of our car? Or is it next to the rake? I don't know how big it is. I will have to look everywhere. Oh, dear! First, Lebu opened the boot, but there was no present there. Then, she looked under the car, but no present there. Oh, no! Oh, no! Let me look inside our car, Lebu thought. She looked at the back seat, but there was no present there. Oh, no! Lebu stood next to the car. She felt very sad. I have worked out all the clues, but I can't find my birthday present anywhere. Let me try one last place. Maybe it's in front of the car. Lebu looked in front of the car. She saw something that made her smile. Oh, yay! It was her birthday present. A lovely new pink bicycle. <laughs> Thank you, Mom and Dad, Lebu said. I love the present and I liked working out the clues. <laughs> the end. Oh, no, no, I love that story. <laughs> <laughs> How about we find out more about good food that we can also use to benefit our bodies? Great idea, Nolo. Hello again, I'm Bonolo, and welcome back to Inside the Baobab Tree. Oh, hello again, I'm Baby Bab. Today we're talking about food elements that taste and smell nice whilst working as a medicine or a home remedy for sickness. Oh, and lemons are good with tea. 
Baby Pep, how about we make something refreshing for ourselves? Wahoo! Yes, please! Something quick, easy, and yummy. Oh, but something fruity! Yes, you're clever, Baby Pep. And something cool! I know! Let's make a basil lemonade. Ha ha ha! Nice! This is our magic toolbox, Tuli. And inside it has everything we need to show you how you can make your lemonade. Let's wake Tuli up. Rise and shine, Tuli! I want to make some basil lemonade for Baby Pep. Please may I have all the ingredients I'll need? It sounds as if Tuli is ready. Let's see what's inside. So, I'll need... Hmm, some sugar. Hmm. Water. Fresh basil. Lemon. Measuring cups. Glasses. A jug. A spoon. Mortar. A strainer. I can't feel anything else, Tuli. Is that all I need? Great, we're ready. Let's make our delicious lemonade. Let's make some delicious lemonade, Baby Beth. <laughs> so first we take a jar, some sugar. So you take two tablespoons of sugar, put them in the jar, like that. Then you take a spoon, and some water. And you pour a little bit. Oh, no! Wow! Bubbles! <laughs> That's because it's sparkling water, baby bear. Oh. 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 Then we'll take some lemon. Lemons are filled with vitamin C. Woo! Woo! Now, when we're done cutting, We'll take a strainer, then we'll squeeze the lemon inside. Squeeze! 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 When you're done squeezing, put the strainer out. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the little bit of juice that is left. Then put it away. And then we mix again. Then, let's put this away. Then we take our mortar oh. and our basil leaves. Oh. Tear it open. Whoop, whoop. You can take about mm, three basil leaves. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three. Are those from a tree? Yes, they are, Baby Bab. Oh! Then you'll need to crush your leaves like that. See, friends? Then, bring back our lemonade. Take a spoon. 
and mm. put our basil leaves inside. Mmm, the basil Good. smells nice! Mmm, mm, delicious! <sighs> now, we need to take more lemon. Now we'll take one slice, cut it in half. Put these two halves in our lemonade. Like that. Ooh. And then the other one we'll put in our glass. Like that. See? Put this one away. There you go, baby bab. Oh, baby Beth, don't worry. We'll be back again with more stuff to do. Oh, really? I promise. Oh, okay. See you, and you, and you soon. Bye, friends. For us to go now. We hope you had fun times with us inside the baobab tree today. Today, inside the baobab tree, we learned about cracking the code of food, using it not only for hunger purposes, but for healthy purposes too. We read a fun story about a young girl trying to figure out her birthday present. We also made our very own basil lemonade. Join us soon inside the baobab tree. It's been great to see you. And remember, eat and drink very healthy foods. Goodbye.